Whenever you're stung by a nettle, you're always told to rub a dock leaf on the sting. And so in this video, I'll see if there's anything in a dock leaf which can inhibit the nettle sting. There are four key chemicals which have been identified in a nettle sting, and you'd think that dock leaves should be able to counteract their effects on the body. The first is formic acid, which is a known irritant and causes pain. The second is histamine, which stimulates inflammation and causes the redness and itching of stings. The third is serotonin, which is a known irritant when injected, and the fourth is acetylcholine. Now acetylcholine hasn't been shown to cause any pain or irritation, and in fact it's been shown to reduce pain, so we won't look to see if dock leaves can inhibit this. Now there is little research done on dock leaves because they are quite an unremarkable plant, but because of this we can make some fairly safe assumptions on its characteristics and chemical compositions. Dock leaf sap will have a pH of about 6.4, which is very slightly acidic, this is unlikely to be able to neutralise the formic acid enough to reduce pain. There are some herbs such as turmeric, which do contain natural anti-inflammatories, but these are very few and far between, and as dock leaves are not related to herbs, there is nothing to suggest they contain any anti-inflammatories. Serotonin inhibitors are even rarer throughout nature than anti-inflammatories, and again are only found in herbs, so it's unlikely dock leaves will contain anything to inhibit the serotonin either. However, the physical act of rubbing the stings has been shown to stimulate nerves which reduce pain. So there's nothing in a dock leaf which can reduce the pain of a nettle sting, but the act of rubbing can help reduce the pain. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And if you want to know more about this topic, then you can visit the link in the description.